Welcome in. What's your name? My name is Nucci. Hey, Nucci. How old are you? I'm 25. I'll be 26 soon. Okay. And uh, what do you do? I am an artist as well as a behavioral health tech, and I'm also a stripper. <laughs> okay. Now, what kind of artist are you? I rap. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. All right. So, anything we should be looking out for? Anything soon? Yes. Actually, I dropped a song yesterday, so go ahead and check that out, you guys. Okay. Showgirl Nucci on YouTube and Instagram. All right. Well, make sure to check that out. <laughs> now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to write music. Uh, I love movies. Like, I really like, I grew up watching movies. Like, my grandma would sneak us into the movies. <laughs> like, we would pay for one, go see another one, wouldn't okay. pay for it. So, yeah. <laughs> love movies. Um, I love to hike. I like to work out as well. Um, anybody that knows me knows that when I was, like, heavily into my working out, like, regimen, mm -hmm. I was working out, like, five, six days a week. I got really small. Pumped up a little bit, but I mm -hmm. like myself both sizes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um... Just security within yourself. So off the bat, only two guys have popped their balloons, even if she's a stripper, right? What does that tell me? She's a very beautiful woman and she's thick. And if you guys know how we men are, we are very physical. Face looks good. She's thick. Booty on point. Most guys are like, I mean, she's a stripper, but she looks good. So I don't know. Now, whether she's the type of woman they would actually take to their mama is one thing. But I know when a man wants a woman, like everything else ceases to matter. Whether it's the parents, the mom, well, it doesn't matter what the friend said. It doesn't matter what the dad said. The dad says, if a man wants a woman, even if she's a stripper like her, and that's what she, he wants, that's it. Men just lose their minds over that. So I understand why only two guys have popped their balloons. Let's go. Confidence. Um a guy that has like goals mm -hmm. um and actually like doing something to achieve them yeah okay now what are some deal breakers Ooh, deal breakers um a guy like if you if you've met me if you've been around me humbly i do get attention so like if you know that about me and you want to pursue me mm -hmm. then that's definitely something like if you tend to get insecure about the attention that i get that's something that would make me like kind of stray away from you mm, okay all right so so okay you're a stripper you look good you get the booty you get the attention so you want a man to just what let you engage with whoever just because you get the attention and you're a stripper like what kind of deal i think i don't think any sane man who has standards and boundaries is going to accept that right because you're not getting the attention because you're a rapper you're not getting the attention because you're a ceo you're getting the attention because you're a stripper. So any man who has any any standards at all is going to be thinking, you know what? Mm, I don't know. This is too much. Like that's not that kind, a kind of attention that any man is going to be able to deal with. So, you know, some guys will take it because she's beautiful. I don't know. So we did get um, a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay. All right, let's start with your name and age. Uh, I'm Trey, I'm 25. And Trey, what do you do? Uh, I'm a development project manager at a tech company. Okay. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just a profession, stripper. That's not my preference. Nothing wrong with you. No, just honestly, preference. I thought it was going to be more people that would pop, so I understand. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. yeah, that's it. Got it, all right. Now, is, uh, is he someone that's your type? Um, you're dressed very well, great smile, just... Um, if we're going off everyday life, I probably wouldn't entertain. Yeah. Nothing against you. You're very handsome. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Now, is there something there that's making you say you wouldn't entertain him? Um, I think I just, okay. I think okay. I just like a more like brolicky guy, like a little oh, okay. bit more like like mm, like you know. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that saying like no, you're, you're not that, you're but just, just for fine. me, I'm you're a big great. girl, so. I understand. Yeah. Let's go. All right, cool. Thank you. Let's go down over here. Yeah, that's one of the first guys who popped their balloons. At least for him, he's like, okay, she's thick, she's beautiful, but she's a stripper. I'm definitely not going to let her beauty sway my standards. Your name and age? Uh, yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. And Key, what do you do? Uh, I own a trucking business. Okay, very cool. Now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just a profession, same thing. Uh, very pretty girl. Thank just you. Professional, yeah. That's I'm it. sweating. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you good. Okay. And now is Key someone that's your type? Love your complexion. Like, that was definitely the first thing that caught mm. my eye when I walked out here. Appreciate um, it. Love the waves as well. Um, I probably would entertain you if you approached me. So, yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Cool. cool, cool. Thank you. All right. So, we still do have quite a few balloons left unpopped. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question, help you narrow it down. Ooh. Um,. Damn, I didn't really think about this. Oh. Man, all the guys want the fake stripper. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do any of you guys have children? You are, do? Are kids a deal breaker for you? Yeah. Okay. So I'm sorry. Let's, let's head on over here. Let's start with your name and age. My name is John. I'm 31. John, what do you do? Uh, I'm an area space tech and I uh, do content. So. Okay, got it. So she did pop on you for the kids. Um. Why did you have your balloon unpopped for her, though, prior to that? I mean, I'm not really shallow. You feel me? I like to get to know the person, so I was just trying to fill her up. Okay. Got it, got it. Now, I don't think rejecting a woman because she's a stripper, which is basically sex work, is being shallow. But, hey. I know the kid's is a deal breaker, but yeah. is he someone that's your type? Um... You're so cute. Like, let me just say that. You're, like, really cute, but, like... If I'm gonna be with somebody, I need somebody that's like fine to me. Like you fine to to a lot of girls, I'm sure. But yeah. to me, like very cute. I love your dreads. I like the way you're dressed. And yeah. That's cool. I was it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So everyone else has no kids. Any other questions? Um. <laughs> this is dumb, but like I do want to know your guys' signs. Okay. Exactly. I expected some guys to. I would pop on my balloon too, like, like zodiacs. Ladies, please stop asking up us about zodiacs. Ask me what I like to do. Ask me what self growth I'm working on to improve myself. Ask me what my ambitions are. Ask me how I resolve conflicts. You cannot judge me off my zodiacs. And she prefaced that by saying. This is dumb. Okay, if you know it's dumb, why are you asking the question? So I'm not surprised that guys just pop their balloons because of zodiacs, but they didn't pop their balloons because she's a stripper. That goes to show you that guys are tired of this zodiac bullshit. Like seriously. <laughs> okay. I wasn't still... gonna pop you based off your sign. I just want to know. <laughs> so why are you asking we'll if it's not a big your deal? Oh, uh, my name's Dante. I'm 25. Dante, what do you do? I'm um, a famous adult uh, entertainer and also a uh, YouTuber as well. Okay, got so, yeah. it. So, to answer a question, what's your sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Okay, a I like Sag. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. He's bullshit. We'll come back. Name and age? Name Justin. And 26. Okay. And what do you do? And I own a online business. So, yeah. All right. Okay. And what's your sign? I'm Cancer. Okay, I like cancer. You guys are very like emotionally intelligent and like just like intuitive when it comes to emotions. Oh, for sure. Are you saying men born in different months other than whatever the hell, the cancer BS that like, other guys don't have emotional intelligence? And this is what I'm saying. Like you got to take someone off their personality, how they treat you, their character, not just best because they were born in a certain month of the year. It's BS to me. Like, you know. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah, and right. you guys like really make people feel comfortable. Like no sign I feel like mm -hmm. is better at doing that than a cancer. So yeah, that's how it is. That's not true. Are you saying people born in different another months or who have different zodiacs cannot have the capability to respect people, treat people nicely and things like that? That's see, this is what I'm saying. Like you are using some mythological BS to put people in a category. Right. Rather than, hey, I'm going to give you a chance and see how you treat me. And then off your personality and character, then I can be like, OK, you're a good person. You're a good person. But off the rip, this guy may, might be the, the worst human being on Earth. But she just said because he's a cancer, he's some good guy who does ABC. I sure. like that. Yeah. Name and age? Chris, 27. And Chris, what do you do? I got a couple jobs. Uh, I'm a realtor first, mm. and then I work at a community center with kids, and then I work at two nonprofits. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. I like that. What's your sign? Scorpio. I have a love-hate <laughs> relationship with you guys. Like, I love you guys, but you guys are toxic. At least a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, at least you know. <laughs> All right, 
Thank you. And we did get a pop. Let's head on back this way. Your name and age? My name's Ryan. I'm 26. And Ryan, what do you do? I own uh, two different media companies. Okay. So you did end up popping your balloon when she asked, what's your sign? What's up? What's going on? Um, yeah, it's just the sign thing. I just never got into that. And I don't even like speaking about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I understand. Like, a lot of guys are like that, so I don't fault you for that. All good. <laughs> yeah, so if you know a lot of guys are like that, why are you asking questions that are very irrelevant, you know? Ask him what he likes to do. Ask him, does he respect women? Is he a family kind of man? Does he like strippers? Clearly, he does like strippers because he didn't pop his balloon for you, you know? <laughs> All right. So prior to her asking about signs, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why so? I kind of wanted to hear her out. The profession thing did kind of take me through a little loop, but I was I was still open. Um, yeah. So and, and she's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. So okay. I, was I mean, say peanut butter. I like that. So <laughs> <laughs> she's thick. So I was like, I was like, no, we can. Uh, I just want to hear what she had to say. Okay, got it, got mm -hmm. it. Now, is Ryan someone that's your type? No, because. You're just a smidgen too light skin for me. I know I'm light skin as well, but oh, shit. I like them a little bit brown to dark skin. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Let's go over here. Why'd you end up popping? Man, I, sh I'm, I think I'm light skin. I don't know. Like, you feel you're me? You're not as light as him. No, man, you ain't light skin. You, I mean, no, you're not. You're not light skin. You shouldn't have popped your balloon. I don't know who told you you're light skin, but <clears throat> probably a little bit of shade of brown, but you're not light skin at all. Um, light light. <laughs> you should have gave yourself a chance. Hey, I mean, look, I didn't know. You should have been clear on me. You know? <laughs> but it's all good. Well, I did say brown to light skin. To brown, me, like, you're. I mean, you well, are kind of like on the cusp lighter, of light, yeah, yeah. but you are, to me, you have a little bit more melanin. Okay, for know. sure. Yeah. He's dark to me, I'm going to be honest. He, I don't see any light skin with him. He's just... A lighter dark but he's not light-skinned compared to him this now this is light skin this is not light skin this is dark lighter dark lighter shade okay yeah damn okay so but you want that balloon back or something right why are you biting go your ahead, lip get, like go, that yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead okay. get that balloon yeah. back yeah. Yeah. Get that balloon yeah. back yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about yeah, yeah. come on come on <laughs> yes sir yeah. <laughs> Okay, we'll be back for you then. He ended up popping as well. What's going on? Same thing. You know, I'm light skin, as everybody can see. No, you're not. She said brown skin to dark skin. Maybe I should have specified, like, like light, bright, right? Type shit. Okay, yeah. okay. Like, There's nothing wrong with light brights at all. Like, all yeah, complexions yeah. are beautiful. It's just a preference. Yeah, no, I feel yeah. you. But you, yeah, no, you're you damn near the same color. Yeah. 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 You're not light skin, man. Come on. She's light skinned. Another guy over here is light skin. You two are not light skin at all. I'm light skin my whole life. <laughs> I'm only dark as we in Arizona right now. Okay. All right. So, do you want him to get? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's up to him. It's up to you. You want the balloon back or no? She. Yeah, she's not feeling him at all. The fact that she said it's up to him. With him, she wanted him to get the balloon back. With him, she's not feeling him. Yeah. I think I'm a just. I just want to see what else okay. is out there. No, okay. no problem. Yeah. No problem. All right. So is he someone that is your type? Um, I love the way you're dressed. You said it. Very handsome. I probably wouldn't in the real world I entertain. Do. I knew it. Type shit. Okay. So prior to her saying the whole light skin thing, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? Oh, well, she cold. Okay. <clears throat> My boy's gone. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, she cold. Thank you. Thank you. Hell, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we did get a pop is. down here. <laughs> I think she loves the compliment of she's thick as hell. I mean, she's a stripper, so I understand. But yeah, that's her favorite compliment. You can tell with the way she smiles. <laughs> All right. Your name and age? How you doing? My name is Nati. Okay. I'm 25. Okay. And Nati, sorry, what wait, you what's your name? Nati. Nati. Nati? Nati? Yeah. Okay. Like Ethiopian name. Okay. okay. And like what do you do? I'm a project engineer for a general contractor, full time, and then do a little freelance estimating on the side. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, why would you end up popping your balloon? Well, first, I'm an I'm an Aries, but, um, but yeah, when people ask me about my sign, I feel like they're making a lot of assumptions about the sign. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I don't believe in that at all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you cool though, you know. You're pretty, and thank you. you. Know, I think we'd be good friends, but 
Yeah, that's I think so though. too. And honestly, let me just elaborate on like the zodiac question. Like, I would never cancel somebody because of their zodiac sign. Like, that's dumb. I think you would because when the like two guys told you I'm a cancer, I'm this, you went straight to, uh, yeah, I like you guys. I get along with you guys. You guys do this and this. You are subconsciously now are canceling out others, other, other zodiacs that you don't like. Because if they told you a different zodiac that you already presume as not good you are subconsciously canceling people out or rejecting people so the reason you ask because you believe in the bullshit but like i do like i'm a virgo so like a lot of the things that they say about virgos is very true for me personally so like i just like it gives me kind of like a little insight of what your personality could look like but sure. obviously i would give you the chance to like you know indulge me in who you really are that's cool okay thank you let's head on back Okay, so we do have two guys left. I'm gonna go ahead and see if you guys have any questions for her. You do? Okay, let's start here. Uh, what is submission to you? Submission. What is being Ooh. a submissive woman? Submissive is like allowing my man to lead. So like, um, let's say like, let's say we wanna buy a house or something. Yeah. And I wanna live in one area, but you tell me that you wanna live in this area for this, that, and this reason. I'm gonna listen to you, and if I feel like, okay, my man has proved to me that he can lead, I think he knows what he's talking about. If we move here, it might not be the best idea, so I'm gonna go with what my man says. What do you mean, prove to you? Um, just like letting me know that you have like, you know what you're doing, basically. Just like financially, spiritually, mentally, with your goals. If you say that you have goals and you haven't achieved any of them, then why would I let you lead anything that has to do with me? That's a good answer, though she kind of struggled to answer that question. But I think the reason he asked that question, because most women find it offensive to even ask them if they are submissive or if they, if, 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 because it's funny, they want a man to be a leader, but they don't want to be submissive. It's like they want their cake and eat it too as well. That sometimes like, if you want a leader, you're probably going to be following him. And if you are following them, you are being submissive in a way. But most, so many women these days get offended by that question. Or even get offended if a man is like, I want you to submit. But in the same breath, they'll be like, I want a man to lead. Okay, how is, how is he going to be a leader if you can't submit? So that was a good answer. Yeah, as a man, if you're going to be a leader and you want a submissive woman, she's going to want to see the track record, the history in your life, where you have been a leader, whether it's your goals, whatever you're working on, the way you look, those are all small ways you can show leadership. So just proving it that way. Okay. Good. Okay. Any questions here? What city you stay? I mean, where you stay? Like I stay in Phoenix. You stay in Phoenix? Yes, sir. Or I stay in Cali, so I don't know. Ooh. Long distance. Long distance. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Uh -oh. okay. <laughs> yeah, long distance did not work. Long distance is no for you. No, I, okay. can, I can't do that. Okay, so you did have him get his balloon back. Is he someone that's your type? He's handsome. Yeah, I would. I would entertain him. Okay. Oh, entertain me. Hold on. I would. <laughs> Hold on. I would. Uh, did I say something bad? You say entertain. Yeah. I think it's just the lingo, but I think she means like she would talk to you, like she would give you a chance. But these guys, first of all, that guy thought he was light skin. He's not light skin. Now he's, I think, I think her issue is the words she uses. And now he's again trying to, you know, it is what it is. Paying the idea of getting to know you. Okay. Just like you would do that for me, right? I feel you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back this way. Why did we end up popping? just i had to think about what she was saying about the submission so before i got famous before i had anything i had my ex of uh, three years i was trying to marry and stuff like that but she didn't believe in the hustle she didn't believe what i was doing and stuff like that i didn't have the results mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that and she didn't believe in what was happening and i told her what exactly was going to happen mm -hmm. to where i am today and stuff like that it's like okay i can't entrust that oh i might not have it in five years i might have it in two years it might happen in six years you feel me but like you thinking that oh you don't have the results yet you know, a lot of people don't have results yet. You feel me type shit? Don't come overnight. It don't come over in a year. Don't come over in three. Hmm. You got to stick and ride. If you mean, and if you're not going to do that, right. beat it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I understand where he's coming from. 
All right. But there's got to be some progress. Okay, you don't have the results yet, but let's say you're going to school. Okay, you can't be saying, I'm going to school, I'm going to school, I'm going to school. You got to be like, okay, I've been in school for two years and I'm left with a year or maybe two years to complete my, 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 my education. That's progress, right? So that's part of results. That's a part of results. So I don't think her answer was wrong. I think he just misunderstood or he took it to the extreme. But they could have been a good match. She's a stripper. He's an adult entertainer. So they could have worked out well. In my opinion.